giving us this time. We are so incredibly proud to have you as a part of Butterfly. So for those women who don't already know who you are, which I find hard to believe, um, would you mind just introducing yourself? Sure. I'm, I'm Jennifer Griffin, and I um, am the National Security Correspondent for Fox. I was overseas for um, about 15 years. Um, and um, and I, when we moved back two years ago, and my husband's also a journalist, and we have three kids. We just had our third, and um, he was uh, he just turned four weeks today, actually. And um, um, I found out I was pregnant with him when I was traveling with Admiral Mullen in um, Afghanistan. <laughs> in fact, I think Admiral Mullen's aide knew I was pregnant before Greg did. <laughs> so um, we we figured it out when we were. Um, Top this this uh, hill looking over uh, Pakistan in the Karangal Valley, and um, we were with Mike Mullen, and, and his Black Hawk helicopter had just landed, dropped us off. We were supposed to go and give some awards to some guys who had been out there for 15 mm -hmm. months, and uh, we sort of hiked up the hill. And every time I was getting in the helicopters, I was feeling so nauseous, and I thought, this is weird. I've been in helicopters a lot, and I never throw up. And um, and so then I turned to Captain Kirby. I said, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> I cried a few tears, and then I got up and we went out and we interviewed the guys who had, who you know just it, they looked like they had been. I mean, it, it was almost like a portrait of the Civil War. The hollow-eyed um, soldiers who had been fighting for so long, and and they were just at the, the last few weeks of their tour, and it was it was it was very emotional, very moving. The, piece we did that day. So prior to recording from Washington, you <laughs> lived in Jerusalem for how many years? We were in Jerusalem for seven and a half years. We moved there in 1999, about a year before the Intifada broke out. Mm -hmm. And we weren't thinking we were going to a war zone. We had been in a lot of troubled spots. We had started off in South Africa at the end of apartheid, and mm -hmm. we moved to Pakistan, and it covered Afghanistan when there was still a civil war there. And, um, and when we got to Jerusalem, we thought, ah, oh, wonderful, we can relax. We've been on the road for, an, at that point, probably about 10 years of covering a lot of hot spots and, and wars and famines in Africa. And, and we were ready to really relax and it was beautiful there. The, the, the weather was gorgeous. It, it seemed so calm. They were talking about a peace process. Everything looked good. We decided to have our first child and there I was pregnant, three, you know, three months pregnant and the first stones were thrown in the Intifada mm -hmm. um, on the Temple Mount. I remember standing beneath them as they were coming over um, the Wailing Wall um, when Ariel Sharon went up to make that sort of historic visit to um, the area where the Dome of the Rock is. So, so that was that was the beginning of sort of starting to balance motherhood and work, and it wasn't what we anticipated. Just I, I think probably that's the theme of of being a working mother is it's never what you anticipate and it's you're always getting thrown curveballs and it's how you how you kind of deal with those curveballs.